The January child tax credits may be delayed if Congress fails to pass the social policy bill before the end of the year. The Build Back Better Act is expected to come to the floor this week for a vote. Included in the bill is a one-year extension of the child tax credit, which otherwise would expire in 2021. This credit gives up to $3,000 per child ages 6 through 17 and up to $3,600 per child ages 5 and under, delivered in monthly payments. Families earning less than $150,000 a year if married filing jointly, $112,500 if filing as head of household, or $75,000 as a single filer are all eligible, with incomes above those amounts being phased out in several stages. The IRS announced recently that Senate Democrats must pass an extension by December 28th if they want to avoid a disruption in the child tax credit payments. If Congress doesn't take additional action, the IRS will make its last payment to filers on December 15th. Democrats are using the budget reconciliation process to pass the social spending bill, meaning that they need a simple majority by passing the potential Republican filibuster. The bill will require every Senate Democrat's support, as the chamber is equally divided between Democrats and Republicans. Next, California's $15 minimum wage increase goes into effect January 1st of 2022 for employers with 25 or more employees. But now a Los Angeles investor is gathering signatures for an $18 an hour minimum wage increase ballot measure in 2022. Los Angeles investor Joe Sandberg filed the Living Wage Act of 2022 with the state attorney general's office. Sandberg has stated that he will sponsor the costs associated with the signature collection for the act. If passed, the act would raise the state's minimum wage incrementally beginning in 2023 to $18 an hour by 2026. California's state minimum wage has increased incrementally since 2016. Senate Bill 3, which set a schedule for incremental increases up to $15 an hour in 2022. Employers with fewer than 25 employees have until 2023 to meet this $15 an hour threshold. There are local exceptions for cities who have set a higher minimum wage within city limits that are already in effect. California joins 25 other states in implementing minimum wage increases in 2022. California's minimum wage is currently the second highest in the nation behind Washington, D.C. However, due to California's extremely high cost of living, the minimum wage amount does not, in most low earner instances, cover a basic living wage. Next, Governor Newsom has directed his staff to begin working on drafting a gun control bill that would model the legal framework in that of Texas's Senate Bill 8, which was recently allowed to remain by the Supreme Court. The heartbeat bill banning abortion after six weeks circumvents the prior constitutional protections covered under the Supreme Court Roe v. Wade abortion decision. The Texas law, which went into effect in September, bans most abortions after six weeks. This law is enforced by private citizens through lawsuits filed against health care providers performing the abortions, rather than being enforced by the state itself. In his statement on Saturday, Governor Newsom referenced a recent federal court decision which overturned the state's ban on assault rifles. Under Newsom's proposal, private citizens could sue to stop the manufacture, sale, or distribution of assault weapons or ghost gun kits or parts. Plaintiffs in successful cases could receive damages of at least $10,000 per violation, plus court costs and attorney's fees. Next, California housing finance agency CalHFA has announced the ADU grant program. The accessory dwelling unit grant program will create more housing units in California by providing a grant of up to $25,000 to reimburse pre-development costs associated with the construction of the ADU. In order to see if you are eligible, an eligibility calculator is available at calhfa.ca.gov. Eligible applicants will have an income that is less than 80% of the area median income or less than the Cal HFA income limit. In order to apply, you will need pay stubs, bank statements, employment history, or previous tax returns. Application instructions as well as the eligibility calculator are both linked in the video description down below.